Welcome to the second video of our Spike Prime Robotics Lessons. I'm Preston Spratt here at Sprattronics Learning Lab. What you'll need today is your Spike Prime box, already unboxed and organized. And if you need help doing that, we've got a guide online as well as another video. You'll also want an internet connected device. This could be a Chromebook, an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet, a computer, just anything that can run Google Chrome or that you could download an app to. And what we're going to do is we are going to start by going to www.legoeducation.com. Go ahead and open that up on your device and we are going to do our getting started steps so that you can connect your hub for the first time. So you are going to want a USB cable that goes with your hub as well as your hub. When we arrive at legoeducation.com slash start, we're gonna go over here to the student side and click on Spike app. On this site, you're going to get to select the device that you're gonna be downloading the app to. Now, it should automatically give you the choice of which program to download based on the device you're on. For me, mine goes straight to Windows 10 and asks me to download version 3.2.2. However, I'm using Google Chrome, and I really like to use the web version of this, so I change this to Chromebook, and I click on Launch Web App. Now this works if you're on a computer, anything that's running Google Chrome, you should be able to do this step. Otherwise, download the app that's suggested to you when you get to the website. So I click on Launch Web App, and it loads LEGO Education Spike. Now we have two choices, Spike Essential or Spike Prime. We're using the Spike Prime kit, and we know that because it says it on the box, it has that blue color to it, so we're gonna be collect selecting Spike Prime. And this is our first time using this app, and so we're gonna start right up here with Get Started with Spike Prime. Just a little bit about this app, you have your getting started over here, the rocket ship up here at top. If you ever come in here and just wanna start coding a project, you can click on new project. And I always select word blocks when I'm using Spike Prime so that it works correctly. And throughout our 12 week program, we're gonna be going through these unit plans. And we'll click on these and go through each unit at the end of this video. So we're gonna get started with Spike Prime. This is gonna give us an opportunity to Make sure we have the current version of the Spike Prime app on our hub. It's gonna give you a little introduction into coding and it's gonna be step by step where you can do this on your own and learn how to use your hub, which is the brains of all your robots, how to use a motor, the color sensor, a distance sensor, the force sensor, as well as the gyro sensor. And that just decides or tells you how tilted or what angle your hub has been turned. So we're gonna start with tutorial number one, the light matrix. For this, you're going to need just a hub. And since this is your first time using it, you're gonna want your USB cable, which plugs directly into the side. And we click on that, learn how to display a smiley face on the hub. We're gonna start by pressing this button up in the top left corner to connect our hub. Everything in our app now is gonna walk us through it step by step. And follow the directions on your screen. So hold the power button down to turn on your hub. I've already updated mine, so I see mine is green. I imagine yours is gonna be a white light. So let's click on white and it's going to walk us step by step through updating our hub. So press and hold to turn on your hub, plug your USB cable in, and then click this blue open button to find your hub. And once you have it plugged into your computer or into your device, it'll pop up. And you just click on your Spike Prime and you say connect. And it's gonna recognize your hub right there. If you need to update it, it'll give you a chance to update it. If you don't need to update it, 
it'll take you right back to the scratch coating. Follow the directions on the screen. We drag over a start block. What this means is that when we hit play, that little triangle right there, it's gonna execute everything below it. Our play button to run a program is over here in the bottom right corner. So we'll drag on our light and our code is done. We are ready to go hit play. And our hub is gonna display a smiley face. It's executing the code directly below the play button. We're gonna change that light pattern just a little bit to make it wink. And what we'll do there, we'll just change the color that we are using down to purple and then block out two of those lights so that when we press play, our hub will wink. There we go. You'll follow the steps for each of these tutorials and they'll walk you through how to use your motor, your color sensor, your touch sensor, a distance sensor, as well as the gyro sensor. I suggest going through all six of these just to see how they work and what your Spike Prime Hub is capable of doing. When you're ready to build your first bot, you're going to go to Home, down to Units, and we are going to start things off with Supplementary Lessons. We'll click on Supplementary Lessons, and the very first bot that we like to do is called Going the Distance. This will be a great robot to start with that will drive around and give you some fun things to do with your new Spike Prime kit. By this point, you should now have the correct app on your device. That might be the web app through Google Chrome, or you may have downloaded it if you're using an iOS device or Windows 10. You have plugged your hub into your computer and updated the firmware, and you've been able to send code to your hub and execute that code. Let me know if you have any questions or need any extra help, and we're happy to give you a hand. Go ahead and try that supplementary lesson by following the directions, and have a blast.